After I posted the part one video of this series, I received a question regarding what this um, uh, setup mode, uh, flight mode is about. How did I create it? What is it even for? So I will try to explain that in this uh, short video. Let's start by creating a brand new model. So I'm gonna click on, on the scroll wheel, the model, the name, just for our purposes, let's call it A, B, C. Press OK. Model type, we're gonna use helicopter. Press next, next. Here, uh, since we're using spirit, let's just stick with spirit. Next, next. Activate model, yes. At this point, we're gonna press escape. Um, we're gonna go into flight modes. We're not gonna create flight modes, we're just gonna leave this alone. And here's what, what this uh, defaults to. Defaults to auto rotation and default. Auto rotation, uh, uh, and as you can see right now, there I have no switches assigned. And see up here, this tells me that I am on the, on the default flight mode. But there is no way I can access auto rotation. Why? Because I need a switch for that. Um, the default, there's no switch. Uh, basically, what it, what this means is that when there is no switch and nothing else uh, uh, is assigned to a flight mode, uh, the radio itself uh, just defaults to uh, to this flight mode. That that's the way this radio uh, works. To make this a little easier for say a Spectrum uh, users, we're actually going to change the name of this uh, auto rotation to throttle hold. Uh, so I'm going to click on this. Click again, uh, it'll allow me to edit. So we will uh, just change the name, all right? So it's gonna be uh, Throttle Hold, and let's see, capital uh, uh, T, then H. So now that we type uh, Throttle Hold, we're gonna click OK. And here I'm going to assign this to a switch. This is my preferred switch. I change this to a two-way switch. I like it when it's uh, down, it's on throttle hold or auto rotation. And then I, uh, I pinch, all right? So I hold my fingers, uh, uh, my sticks like this, and I freak out when I um, uh, botch the auto rotation, and I just press here, and then we got the you know fast spool up. But again, down will be the activation of the throttle hold. So here I will uh, click on the switch, down, and okay, so see anytime the, the switch is up, it's deactivated, there's an X, activated, um, has a check mark, which means that this throttled, uh, uh, this flight mode is active, and it tells me that right up here, all right, see so throttle hold, I switch out of this, and the uh, it defaults to the other default flight mode, which is uh, this one, okay? And that it tells me that right up here. This flight mode default I, I will not use it for flight at all, okay? This is not, a, not part of a bank. Uh, you're not gonna see me uh, doing 3D stuff with it. This is will be a, a strictly for, for setup or setting up my fiberless unit at the bench. That's the only reason why I even use this uh, 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 default. Uh, so there's, a, again, the, uh, the, there's no switch associated with it, and that's okay. Um, the, I'll, I will show you what, what I do with this. So I'm going to press escape, move down to default, and I will change the name from default to setup mode, just to make it easier uh, uh, for me. All right, so uh, how do you spell setup? I think it starts with an S, then E. Through the magic of editing, you didn't need to watch me uh, type out this. So I'm gonna press okay, and we're done with this part. Now we're going to switch out of this screen by pressing the ESC escape button. And let's just look at function curves. Don't need to do this, but, but, but I'll show you anyway. Um, this uh, a throttle channel uh, or function, uh, it's not a channel, uh, function, uh, it actually defaults to uh, S for separate and everything else is global. Um, eventually this pitch will become separate 
but I'm going to show you why this doesn't make any sense to, to put it into global and the, and the Jetty computer actually knows that. So let, I'm going to click, go to uh, S, uh, I'm going to apply changes, make it, make it into global just to see if I can confuse the, uh, the radio, make it into global and let's see what happens. All right. So when I go into throttle curves, It'll ask me, throttle curve, separate. Uh, uh, I, of course I want it separate. It has to be separate. That's the only way that it works. Say yes. And it, it defaults back to S. So I'm going to press escape. Go to function curves. And it, it went back to S. This is the only, the only way that this thing actually uh, will work. At this point, we will go back on the menu by pressing escape. And we will go to uh, throttle curve. The Jetty Radio uh, default throttle curve defaults to this um, uh, 0, 50, 100 diagonal curve. Uh, this certainly doesn't work for, for helicopters. Uh, it may work for airplanes. I don't know. I don't own any, any airplanes, but it doesn't work for helicopters. Now, um, just for kicks, uh, constant, let's make, it, let's make this into a five-point curve. Um, the, there are some helicopter manuals that tell you to do, let's see, uh, uh, let's go to point number two. Uh, it, it tells you to do uh, this sort of a, a curve where the, uh, the second point is up in um, up there. Then this point is up to, I don't know, 90%. And uh, the last one here will be maybe 90% as, as well. And the last point at 90%. Uh, uh, we don't fly like that anymore. So please, please don't do that. Okay, the modern way, I'm, I'm actually gonna uh, press escape to uh, backtrack. Oops, I uh, don't wanna do that. I'm gonna go to the five point curve and we're gonna make this into a constant. That's the modern way of flying helicopters. You want the throttle to be constant throughout the, the movement of the uh, the stick, okay, because the, the stick is, is no longer a, um, a throttle uh, a stick, it's just a collective stick. It should not affect the throttle at all. So as you can see, the uh, my, my collective is moving, see this little um, uh, circle, the stick goes up and down, but the throttle remains the same. That That's the way we fly nowadays. Because I am on setup mode, uh, this will not be a flying uh, curve. This is actually going to be a bench setup uh, curve. All right. So what, we'll, what we're going to do is actually instead of constant, which is what we should fly with, uh, I'm going to make this into uh, not a five point curve. Oh, and by the way, uh, people who, who do a, 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 just for completion, not, not that I'm saying that the, the route you're using this is correct. If you're going to do uh, curves, just smooth them out. See how uh, it just makes everything a little smoother, all right? As opposed to tick, tick, tick. This just kind of a, a smooth as the, the curve, but the, uh, I don't think there's a, a reason for ever using smooth curve on a, on a helicopter. So we're gonna click out of that. Here, I'm going to use a, nine, uh, a seven point curve. You can use a nine, but the seven point curve. Why? Because this radio allows for that. Uh, I'm gonna show you why. This is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go into uh, here. I'm going to leave this at zero. The press, second point. I'm going to bring it down to the uh, zero. The third point, I will uh, bring it down to the center, which is uh, the 50%. Uh, this one I'll, I'll leave alone. The next point, I will bring it down. Uh, this point, I will bring up to the 100 Okay, so basically this helps me in when, when I'm setting up, uh, if there's, uh, if I have my stick a little too loose, so see here in the bottom, see how, the, uh, how this is moving. If the stick is a little too loose, I may kind of uh, go off uh, the end a little bit, uh, uh, somewhere around here, it will remain at zero, okay? Um, let me see if I can, uh, nope, uh, screw that up again. See how uh, uh, how it just remains at zero right there. Okay, so they have a lot of wiggle room. 
Uh, and then at center, I don't have to figure out, geez, am I really centered or not? As long as I'm somewhere in the center, it'll read, um, uh, I don't know, I guess 50%. And it, uh, on the other extreme, on the high stick, when I'm calibrating the ESC, see, there's a little wiggle room, even if uh, the, the stick is a little too loose and it may go off the extreme when, when I let go of the stick, it'll, it'll still remain 100%. And, th and that's why I like this particular setup, uh, 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 function curve for my uh, uh, setup mode uh, using a, a seven point curve. Now for completion, and I don't want to make this video too long, um, I'm going to show how, uh, how I set up the um, auto rotation or throttle hold uh, curve. I'm going to press uh, escape, um, escape out of that, oops. Um, I'm going to uh, go back to my switch uh, here to make go back to uh, auto rotation or throttle hold. Uh, press, uh, uh, actually click on standard, change this to constant come down uh, I'm going to bring this curve uh, back down to in my case I use 20% I'm, uh, why do I use 20% because I'm using a YGE ESC and 20% is the value that they uh, 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 suggest to use for uh, a throttle hold or uh, auto rotation uh, bailout um, I think Contronic uses 25% uh, I, I just don't remember or, or it could be 15%. Honestly, I, I just don't remember uh, what value, but th that, that's uh, that's dependent on your ESC. Again, uh, uh, nitro, gas, it, geez, I, I don't know the values on that, but I, I can tell you on electric. And for YGE, 20% uh, e, uh, on the ESC, uh, it, it works perfectly. Now I do the same for the pitch curve, all right? So I'm gonna okay out of that. Uh, go down to the pitch curve, set up independently, uh, yes. Um, default to standard, um, um, which is fine for all my flight modes. I leave the curve as a completely, perfectly diagonal zero to 100 curve. Now, that's how I do it for a, every helicopter I set up, um, for all bank one, bank two, bank three, auto rotation, throttle hold, whatever you want to call it. Um, but for the um, uh, uh, setup mode, okay, which is a bench setup, I do something a little different, okay? So uh, from standard, I will uh, go into the same uh, seven point uh, curve that uh, we created with the, um, uh, with, with the throttle curve, and it'll be the very, very same uh, uh, curve. So yeah, so I finished the curve here, and as you can see, uh, so at low uh, stick, the, uh, uh, See, so there's a little wiggle room here where as long as it's, I'm pretty, pretty low on the stick, it'll be on, on this area 0%. Somewhere in the middle of the stick, it'll be along this uh, middle area. And as far as I'm, as long as I'm high on the stick, it'll be 100% uh, value. So come out of that and go back to function curves. As you can see here, uh, both throttle and pitch, they look uh, uh, pretty much uh, 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 the same as far as the curve. See, we or roll, elevator, they're pretty diagonal. Here uh, in my throttle and uh, pitch, they, they're both um, very uh, uh, similarly uh, looking. As an aside, if you own uh, one of these uh, uh, Jetty DS-12 uh, radios or the, uh, I believe a DS-24, uh, DS-14 that does not have, uh, all of the uh, modules installed and you have to pay extra for the modules. Uh, the uh, uh, flight, mode mo uh, flight mode module is worth purchasing because uh, you, the, uh, the default um, uh, number of, uh, of flight modes is, is actually only three. So in this case, uh, uh, say even if you don't have the setup mode, which I, I consider this to be a, a luxury mode for, for, for setting up, you end up with throttle, let's say, uh, uh, or, or I'm sorry, auto rotation or throttle hold. Then you end up with uh, bank one, uh, bank two, and that's it. Then then you don't have bank zero. So you uh, would benefit from having at least four flight modes, but the 
uh, radio, the DS12 and DS14 only have three flight modes. So you actually have to pay, I think it's 25 bucks to upgrade to the next level up, which is six flight modes. And that'll give you the, uh, the four flight modes that you will use in flight, which is um, uh, auto rotation or throttle hold, bank uh, two, bank uh, one and one zero on the uh, uh, Spirit. And so that's four. Uh, and then of course, at the, for my setup mode, which is a luxury mode, uh, which would be a, would be a, a fifth uh, flight mode. 